Well, I'm finally finished fixing this hotel of his, but I really don't think I can trust that guy. We were able to transform it into a zombie themed hotel using a lot of the potions that I took from the wizard, which is kind of crazy. How is it that I'm able to use the potions to make his hotel look rusty, dusty, crusty, scary, and zombie-like, but I can't use the potions to turn myself back into a human? Oh, I guess the wizard must have used the spell that was way more powerful to turn me into this. Anyway, with our plan, I should have enough money to continue to travel and find that wizard. I have a map of where she went. She went all the way to Royal High, and I'm going to go there too. All right, this place should be open soon. I think that maybe after about, uh, let's see, maybe two weeks of business, I should have enough money to travel there. All right, are you ready? Oh, yes, I am ready. You know, I've been thinking, this is my hotel after all. Why should I have to share the profit? Listen here, dude. You should have to share the profit because if it wasn't for me, this place would still be just rusty and crusty. It wouldn't have this awesome zombie theme that we both agreed on. Are you really going back on your word now? Well, I didn't say all that. I was just saying. It's too late to just be saying. I knew I couldn't trust that guy. Oh, wait, there's a phone call. We're getting a call. Hello? Okay. We just got a call. Apparently, we have two people that saw our ad that we placed in the newspaper, and they want to stay here tonight. All right, then go and pick them up. All right. Ah, this week has been so great. I've ruined so many lives and caused so much drama. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> so much drama, but now it's been so boring. Gianna is supposed to be helping me sabotage Ghost Layla, but I have not heard from her. And I feel like the connection that I have to Ghost Layla is being weakened. They must be very, very far right now. I don't know if I should even venture after them. Or if I should just stay here by the fountain and continue ruining lives. I say we can stay by the fountain and ruin lives. Our first ever customers at the new and improved Zombie Hotel. Alright, we're going to have to take a car. Well, I am. I don't really have my license, but eh, how bad could it be? Alright, let's go and pick up these customers. Or should I say guests, because they'll be staying at the hotel. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot to cover my face. Oh, no. I can't just show up there looking like this. Unless, maybe I'll just tell them that it's a costume. Yeah, since it is the month of Halloween, hopefully they'll believe that. Yeah. All right. Hello? I'm here for pickup for the zombie hotel. Hello? Oh, yes, me. Um, okay, follow me. Let's go. Yep, that's us. Okay, get in the car. This is just the costume, by the way. I'm not actually, uh, you know, a zombie. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I totally believe you. I don't believe her. Hi there, big sister. It's you. What are you doing here? Are you kidding me? Do you know how hard it was finding a town that you wouldn't be in this Halloween? Mind your business. I am minding my business, big sister. I felt a strong pull to this town. You didn't feel anything. You just wanted to bother me. In fact, no, I'm wrong. You did feel something. You felt my magic. 
Oh, uh, yes, that could be it. I did feel your magic, and I knew that you would be up to some really bad, mischievous things with the amount of magic that you were using. Well, I don't care if you're onto me. There's nothing that you can do about it. You know how the rules are. Oh, yes. I know what the rules are, but that doesn't mean that I can't annoy you. Oh, whatever. You're not going to be able to annoy me because I am out of here. No, no, come back here, sister. Where are you going? Do you really think I would tell you where I'm going? I'm going to a little town called None of Your Business. See ya. She's so annoying. Let me head on back to Bloxburg until she leaves this place. Ugh, she always wants to ruin everything. She's the good sister. Ooh, look at me, I'm the good sister. Everybody love me, oh yeah. Ugh, so annoying. Alrighty. Welcome. Welcome, ladies. Hello there. Welcome to the zombie hotel. What rooms can I get you? Um, I would like a room, please. Hello, same here. Okay, follow her. She will help you. Okay, follow me, guys. This is the first room. One of you guys can take this one. Oh, thank you so much, miss. You're welcome. All right, and this over here is the second room. Enjoy your stay. I'm going to go and prepare some foods for you guys. So, how did they like it? Uh, they really liked it. Why aren't you covering your face? You're not supposed to come out until nighttime. Yes, but I forgot, okay? Leave it alone, old man. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me go and bring them some food. I mean, it's kind of stale, though. This guy really doesn't take care of his hotel. All right, so we're gonna get them some popcorn, some more tea or whatever this is. And uh, what else is there? Let's check the fridge. All righty, and some mystery meat stew. Okay, good. This, that, this, that. And that. All right. Oh, wow, food. Yes, here you go, ma'am. I don't really know how to place this, but uh, yeah. There you go. There's some beef stew, some popcorn, and some coffee. Enjoy. Knock, knock. Hello, I'm here with some room service. Popcorn and coffee. Enjoy. So, uh, they checked in and they paid already, right? Yes, they did. Okay, so where's my half of the, the money that they paid? Oh, here you go. $20? They only paid $40 to stay here? Yes, do you not believe me? Uh, okay, fine, fine. Um, whatever. No, I don't believe that guy. That guy is lying to me. He is such a snake. I'm gonna look around in his room to see. Let's see. It couldn't have just been $40. He must keep all, he usually keeps all his receipts and copies of them in his room. So let's see, where would he put it though? Hmm. Okay, maybe it'll be under there. I need, let's see, no, not right there. Maybe over there, and... What are you doing in my room? Oh, uh, sorry, I just got lost. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I just got a little lost. Well, get out of here. You don't belong in here. This isn't your room. Okay, fine. That guy, he's such a liar and a snake. I couldn't find the receipts in his room. I'm gonna have to talk to, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have to talk to the guests and try to see how much they paid. Hi, miss, is everything okay with your stay? Oh, hello there. Yes, Um. so I just wanted to make sure that 
everything is fine and that you pay what you are supposed to pay? Well, uh, we paid $100 each. <gasps> so he charged you $100 per person per night? Are you kidding me? And he only gave me $20? Yes, is there a problem? No, no, uh, no problem at all. That's it. If it weren't for me, this place wouldn't be getting any business, and he wouldn't even be able to charge $100 per person per night. It's time for revenge. Thank you for watching my channel. Pretzel et so. Pretzel et so. Pretzel et so.